going to be so good. Alright, spawning in the bottom right position on Belshir Vestige, we have the blue Terran player, Copenhagen Wolves Bunny! His opponent in the top right is top left, excuse me, is going to be Vega Squadrons Revolver! TVZ, wow. I think this is a this is the first TVZ that we are actually casting. And, uh, well, Bunny. His TVZ, at one point in time, I think it was WCS Season 2, was quite legendary. Uh, maybe it was Season 1. I'm not entirely sure. But, no, I actually I think it was Season 2, yeah. In the qualifiers, uh, he made a big splash with his TVZ, you know, of course that was back you know, at the time that Hellbats were kind of broken, but uh, <laughs> still, Bunny is a very very good player, we saw the evidence of this in a number of his games today, and uh, we should be expecting a very very cool match. Now interestingly enough, Revolver is not going for a hatchery first, which is usually what you see Zerg players doing, instead he's, uh, he is dropping down the pool, so so let us see here. Yeah, just now sending out the drone. Um, a little bit too soon for a hatchery, but maybe he just wants to make sure that he can bring the hatchery up without any problems whatsoever. And probably Bunny will be going for a Reaper straight away when this barracks finishes. So there is the hatchery at the expansion. Uh, Orbital Command and the Reaper. Now, there's a couple of follow-ups off of this that you can do. There are players that like to go to barracks after the expansion, of course. You know, get their expansion, second barracks, factory, immediately, starport, engineering bay. And just go for it and put a lot of hurt onto Zerg players with uh, two medevac plays. One of the players that I personally know and have casted a number of times in the past is uh, Robbie G from Great Britain. Uh, he uses this style exclusively in almost all of his uh, all of his TVZs. It is very very effective uh, as uh, long as you can be cost efficient with your first two medevacs and 16 marines. Then uh, you are basically keeping the Zerg down and behind for a very very long time, if not the entire game. And then you know it becomes very problematic for the Zerg player to come back. Um, but Bunny, he is doing something uh, more standard here, or more common. Uh, he's getting uh, two Reapers, <coughs> expansion, a factory. Probably will uh, will follow this up with uh, there's the reactor, and probably he will follow up this play with uh, uh, Hellions. But for now, just the two Reapers, and he's going to be annoying with them. Uh, if you can get that creep tumor, actually, good job, Bunny. Uh, the longer he can prevent these two bases uh, from connecting with creep, the better for him. And at this point, he can three-shot drones with these reapers, uh, still keeping both of them alive. So nice job there. Speed just now queued up, and keeping one drone on the gas. Um, so just does not want to, does not want to give up all the gas mining currently, and that might be for a. Uh, uh, for a quicker banding nest, you know, uh, as a Zerg player, generally you want to skip roaches if you can help it, unless you're facing a mech user. Even a spore crawler going down for whatever reason, maybe uh, just uh, Revolver is a little bit afraid of uh, Widow Mine follow up. And it's not going to be the case, uh, it's going to be Hellions, two of them already out, and two more in production. Tech Lab finished on the barracks and marine production initiated. Third command center going up. So Bunny going to be a, playing a very standard game here. So far uh, 35 drones versus 25 SCVs and a very fast third base by Revolver. Upon seeing this expansion, he decided that that is the correct um, course of action he should be taking. And yeah. Bunny still working only off of one barracks uh, and continuing to put on pressure with a Hellion uh, Reaper combination. 
Roach weren't going up for a revolver. That is probably only a purely defensive one, as you know he needs uh, he needs a couple roaches to defend this. But Bunny, oh, oh, oh he's targeting down the drones pretty much, and uh, killing uh, quite a few of them. Twelve drones already have gone down. And can he get the rest? Still three Hellions remaining, but three Queens should be enough to defend versus this. And now that the Lings uh, have spawned, oh, this is not a wise move, Revolver. You don't want to fight with so few Lings of creep. So Bunny having to pull back, but I think he did see, yeah, he did see the third base, so he knows exactly what he's playing against. And he knows that if he starts putting on a lot of hurt, a lot of pressure onto the Zerg uh, opponent, make him waste, his larva as much as he can, uh, that he will not get a very, a very big benefit off of this base. So far Bunny is adding on uh, two additional barracks, getting his engineering base done. Uh, double NG base and a second evolution chamber on the other side of the map that we see uh, being put down right now. Plus one Kerr base going up for the Zerglings and it, as I said, the Roach Warren is just defensive. We haven't seen any roaches being produced, only just now starting, and probably will will only be five, maximum seven maybe. But I'm more thinking in terms of five roaches. Uh, no need to go above that number. Uh, will be quite enough to defend versus the Hellions. So... Revolver getting a pretty good scout off of his opponent base, uh, scouting with the second alert here as well. And well, the Stimpak is finished right now and Bunny does have 1-1 one, one on the way. Now, the thing in TVZ is that once Widow Mines start rolling in, which I'm not seeing that many of, in fact I'm seeing zero Widow Mines so far, but once the Widow, widow Mines start rolling out onto the field, it's becoming increasingly problematic for a Zerg player to uh, constantly take favorable engagements versus the Terran army. So Bunny continuing to scout and Revolver, oh look at this, a fourth base and I don't even know if Bunny will go ahead and scout that. He might as well, he does have his own third up. So Revolver keeping up uh, in terms of uh, staying ahead one expansion one expansion ahead of his opponent, so uh, he's doing a pretty good, good job of that. Even opening up this uh, pathway so that he has more room to maneuver. And so far, interestingly enough, Bunny has been really, really passive. Uh, he hasn't done anything so far. This is the first drop that is being queued up, and that drop should discover the fourth base and force force a cancel onto that. Research. There we go. And a second drop heading into the main base. So, while Revolver tries and go in here and defend this base, there are no units inside the main base. This medevac should be boosted immediately, there we go. And he will lose a lot of drones because of this. He does save the fourth hatchery, but will, will he lose anything crucial here? I mean, the drones are the prime target, sure, but even getting the gases or the spawning pool, yeah! That might be a good thing to do as well, but Bunny a little bit indecisive uh, about what he should be targeting. At the same time, he's reinitiating the drop on the right side of the map and constantly forcing Revolver to split his units. But finally, Revolver is going to defend this, and he is still at 70 drones, so very, very good injects, good uh, money spending, and good larva management here from the Russian Zerg. And right now, Bunny is pretty much on a full 3 base production, 11 to 13 marines at a time, maybe even 14 marines at a time, 2-2 two, two on the way, tank production. Interestingly enough, Bunny is not utilizing Widow Mines at all. He's going with the very old school style composition of uh, Marine Marauder tank, which is uh, what we used to see a lot of in the Wings of Liberty days. Nowadays you don't see very much of it. Oh my goodness, juked. Look at this, one marine causing the entire army of Revolver to head back into the main base when it was already over this area and could have defended the fourth base potentially. But as a result he loses that and uh, that brings Bunny a little bit ahead. Scans in advance, sees that the army is camped right there, doesn't want to, doesn't want to engage that just yet. 
And, well, where are the tanks? I, that's what I want to know. Yeah, so he's using the tanks defensively. Good pickup there by Bunny. Avoiding all the damage. He is using the tanks defensively. Uh, not using them in any kind of offense. And just relying on his highly mobile Marine Marauder medevac force. Still interesting to me that... He's not adding on any Widow Mines. His 2-2 is about to finish, so he will be even on upgrades with the Zerg player. And, uh, you know, the problem is for our Zerg player here that he's investing into plus one melee and carapace upgrades. Uh, he's not investing into uh, the missile attacks. But if we look at the unit composition, he's got very many roaches. 22 roaches out on the map and no upgrades for them. Not the smartest move you could have made, Zerg player, but uh, yeah, it is as it is, and for the time being, see a, re a revolver, seeing that he is unable to do anything there, he pulls back, gets his infestation pit, gets his spire up, and will be transitioning very slowly, pr probably into mutalisks, but he needs to ditch those roaches, he really needs to ditch those roaches. Uh, not very good overlord placement neither, I mean, he is essentially blind on the map, doesn't see very much of it, and all of this allows Bunny to move freely about the battlefield, pretty much striking wherever he wants, taking the watchtowers, and I think he will start pushing right now with 2-2, done, and being maxed out, I mean, there is no reason not to, taking a fourth base over here, over here as he's doing so. Splitting up his units, the tanks need to focus fire on the bandings, but they do not do so. One of them goes down as a result, but now that all of the bandings are down, these marines pretty much have the command of everything that is remaining here. That was some awesome splitting from Bunny, and very quickly done as well. Revolver is kind of starting to run out of fuel at this point in time. He's going for a quick hive, maybe he wants to go into ultralisks straight away, and without any medevacs, this this also allows Buddy to retain his tank count. That is one thing. Another is he's got a pretty good medevac count as well, producing two more at a time. And there is nothing that is getting rid of those medevacs because there are no there are no mutas. Only just now these first 17 have popped out, but Revolver seems to be so behind in terms of what units he should be getting. Another fight in the center. A good Kanke for the Zerg player, looks like Bunny in a little bit of a trouble, but with those medevacs still being up in the air, he will chase uh, this group of units away. And well, GG called by Revolver as he ran out of things to do. Just a very solid play from Bunny. Just a couple of mistakes. I think what started it all was the very bad army army split at the start of the game when Bunny first started to drop with his first two medevacs. Just losing that fourth base absolutely needlessly in my opinion because one marine is in your main. And from there on it just kind of snowballed into this into this effect where you need to get gas units that you don't want to be getting and you don't have enough econ to power that mutalisk flock or transition into hive quickly enough. Another thing to consider is that uh, is those roaches really. Um, that was just pretty much useless supply in the Zerg's army. Roaches are just not good, especially where uh, when you when you don't uh, have upgrades for them. So game number two going to be Akalon Wastes. This is uh, the second map being played. Bunny so far 1-0 over Revolver. And uh, we're going into game number two here in just a second. There we are. So Revolver from Team Vega Squadron, a very very good Zerg player, unfortunately losing game 1 versus his opponent. He's wearing yellow colors, he's speaking Russian, he's drinking vodka like uh, mother's milk since he was 3 years old, no doubt. 
He's spawning in the top left position. In the bottom right, we have from uh, Denmark, Copenhagen Wolves, Bunny, the blue Terran player. So let's see what is going to be happening on this game now. Akron wastes, in terms of mm, just the terrain usability, drops obviously a big deal on this map. Uh, if we if we take a look over here, medevacs can get into the base from this area very very easily. Um, as well as you know jumping from this location to this location to this location with the medevacs can be quite quite annoying. Uh, hell, even jumping from the third base to the ma to the main can be very very uh, annoying for a Zerg player and potentially difficult to deal with. If we take a look over here, um, very big area. This is pretty much the prime area the Zerg wants to be engaging at. Or, or here, uh, where the Zerg certainly does not want to be engaging is, uh, are these choke points. These choke points pretty much nullify, or, or well not nullify, but put you at the risk as a Zerg player that you're gonna run into burrowed widow mines, stuff like that. So generally you want to avoid those uh, narrow pathways. Of course, they can be utilized as well on the other side if you burrow a couple bailings here and then you get a good detonation when the uh, turn army is moving over there. Could be some epic, epic times ahead. For the time being, Bunny just opening with Double Reaper, same as he did uh, the previous game. This time around, however, we have a hatch first build from uh, from uh, revolver, followed by a pool, and well, actually he's not getting a gas so far. That is uh, that is interesting. I wonder what was the reasoning for cancelling that gas, as he wasn't supply blocked at the time. Um, first reaper is inside the zerg base, though. Uh, he's going to run into some zerglings, but these two creeps. Or, or creep borders are quite a ways off from one another, so connecting those bases is a top priority if you're facing a Reaper harass. And getting speed for the links as well, that is why I am so, so surprised that Revolver decided to cancel his uh, extractor. He's going with a gasless opening, gonna be getting up to um, four queens, at least four queens. Um, and going to be taking his gases a little bit later. But all of this will make it tremendously difficult to defend versus these two Reapers because the Lynx don't have speed yet and these Reapers already have killed two drones, three drones, probably will get another one. Yep, there we go, and they have one more lined up in their sights after they come back. So second command center going up for third command center, excuse me, going up for Bunny. Bunny following this up with uh, Hellions just as he did the previous game. Exactly the same build order here that we are seeing. Reactor, everything is lining up quite nicely. And well, these, uh, these Reapers, they are not faster than the Zerglings on creep. But off creep they can always get a they can always get away from the links. So the tally is five drones killed and two zerglings. That is quite a lot considering those were only two reapers and I cannot but I can't help myself but feel as if not taking a gas uh, as a zerg player and going with a gasless opening especially on maps where reapers are super effective such as Akron Waste, Star Station is a little bit of a mistake. But for the time being, with this many queens, looks like Revolver finally has stabilized, but here come the Hellions. And they might be able to get... Whoa, actually they get quite a lot of drones here. Three already dead. And might get even more. The, the drones are trying to keep away from the Hellions. And the Hellions actually survive all of that. And go ahead and return home. 
So there's the second and third barracks for Bunny. Stim is over halfway being done. I'm waiting for those engineering bays to come down. And Bunny, well, he's in a very good position. 40 drones versus 35 SCVs, considering we have mules as well. The income tab showing that Bunny is way ahead of his opponent in terms of income. Banning nest going down right now, and double Evo chambers. This time a little bit more optimally timed than the previous game. We have we, we saw only one Evo being used in the previous game, and now we have double straight up. Uh, plus one carapace already started. Now let's see what the second upgrade will be. So the second upgrade choice will be for Revolver. He could try to go for uh, for a two base all in here with roaches and the banelings, but it doesn't look like that's what he's going to be doing because he does have the lair on the way. Um, why am I saying that? Because he saw Bunny on, in the previous game not use Widow Mines and the tanks came into play way, 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 way later. Uh, so, you know, when you don't have Widow Mines, any kind of baneling all in is going to be that much more efficient. Because you don't have any, any means to effectively blast away eight banings with one shot. Not with the build Bunny is using when the tanks come into play way later in the game at around 12 minute mark. We can see the tech lab being added on and multiple barracks as the third base is landing here and the Hellions still continuing to scout for bases. They know about the third and we'll be looking to kill a couple drones and oh this I like this this time no roaches none of that stupid business straight into spire it is banning nest being researched and this time revolver is doing everything right in my opinion of course I'm not the expert on Starcraft uh, but I just feel that building roaches in this matchup is just a mistake unless you're only so 1-1 one, one on the way for the turn player as well as the zerg player none of them really done uh, yet but one minute away is Bunny from uh, having that 1-1 one, one done and that is going to be his timing as he is moving out. Still doesn't know about the fourth base but he could send one minute back over there. The Lynx do have speed. Will they get the surround on the Hellions? No. Bunny manages to juke all of those Zerglings and right now is the time where Revolver pretty much has to produce a lot, a lot, a lot of units. And Banelings. Banelings. He needs to... Why... Why isn't he making Banelings? If he doesn't make banelings, those Hellions are going to just have a field day with the links. A little bit too late, and as well, those banelings are exposed. Bunny is just going to start sniping one after another, and Revolver forced to cancel those and rebuild them at the natural base. This was a very, very unfortunate set of circumstances, and as a result, the third base is in danger of going down. These units are overstimmed a little bit, but... <laughs> wow, what? Oh my goodness. I think that sentence was actually meant towards the two Reapers at the start of the game. Yeah, they they pretty much screwed Revolver big time. Uh, at the same time, I think he screwed himself over big time just by not getting that link speed fast enough. It's just a more certain way to defend it than just waiting for those queens and relying on your micro especially when going up against a player of Bunny's caliber where you kind of have to suspect that his micro will be way ahead of yours and he will not let those reapers die ever so Bunny winning 2-0 taking home 50 euros Congratulations to Copenhagen Wolves and to Bunny for playing so well and Vega Squadron's Revolver uh, getting the second place prize which means he's walking away with 35 euros. I'm going to check who won the third place match that was going on at the same time the finals were played. We might have a result. Oh, they are still playing. Nevertheless, third place match uh, would be 
the winner would be taking away 15 euros. So once again, congratulations to uh, Bunny. To owing his opponent in the finals, if we take a look uh, at his journey through the bracket, I don't think he dropped a single game, actually. No, he did not. He won everything, not even dropping a single map. Shark and Devil are currently playing. Shark is winning 1-0 over Devil, so good luck to him. So once again guys, thank you very much for watching. Knights Gaming 10 years of history in esports has officially been celebrated with a StarCraft 2 tournament. Congratulations to Bunny, Revolver and probably Shaq on winning and the prizes. If you like the cast of course please give me a follow on Twitch or you can also jump on Twitter straight away and give me a follow on there because I do cast quite a bit of things and plan on casting even more so if you want to stay up to that up to date on that uh, that's the easiest way uh, check out Knights Gaming at uh, www.ks-gaming I think it is yes ks-gaming.com Check out their sponsors and let them know that you appreciate that they support a team with such a long tradition, eSport clothing and um, Hauptpauge. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. You guys from the Netherlands, please uh, forgive me. And yeah, that's going to be it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time we see each other, just stay safe, good luck, have fun, and remember to storm first and